Once upon a guest with us today, uh, a great friend to the county who, who loves us and, and he's going to come in here and tell us about that. But uh, Jim Justice, our governor, is here and he might have a special guest with him as well. So please welcome our great governor, Jim Justice. cities, our counties, you make, you make all of us go in every way imaginable. Man, I've always known that. I've always known that because I believe in you. I do. I entrust in you. Absolutely, I know just how good you really are. And with all that being said, and just, just think, just think of what has happened to this state. Now, I don't say this braggadociously at all, but like it or not like it, I'm a business guy, and I'm a numbers guy. And I can tell you unequivocally, the day that I walked through the door, all of us, all of us were dead, flat, bankrupt. Now we were. Now we had to all dig in together to get to where we are today, and today, we're cooking. That's all there is to it. And not only that, along the way, we were down a cannonball right to the stomach with COVID, the third oldest state, a state that had all kinds of chronic illnesses and on and on and on. And literally, we knew we had to really come together to get to where we could get across the finish line without a catastrophe beyond belief, and we did it. What great West Virginians do all the time. We just joined together, we pulled the road together, and lo and behold, off we went. And along the way, God above gives us gifts, and sometimes, you know, if you really look at the definition of coincidence, an everyday occurrence in which God chooses to remain anonymous. That's my definition, for sure. 
I just think about this, and then along came this little baby doll puppy that grew into this 60 pound plus brown watermelon. Now, she made me smile. Absolutely, she did. And she loves everybody. It didn't matter. I've said it 10 million times. Rich or poor, or Democrat, or Republican, black, white, old, young. She loves everybody. It's the beatingest thing I have ever seen. And it gives me real energy and real strength. Because I have said it a thousand times. There is no message any better in all the world. Make others laugh and love everybody. How could it be any better or more simple? You know, there's so many here that we can thank. But along the way, we said we're going to have roads to prosperity. And along the way, we have now repaired every road in the world and still a whole lot more to come. And we just keep at it and keep at it and keep at it. And our roads are better. Along the way, we said we're going to be proud of our own pond. And literally, we're going to put real life money in tourism and our parks and let us go. And off we go. We say we're not going to ever forget who brought us to the dance, our fossil fuel people, whether it be coal or oil or gas. We're not going to forget them. For God's sakes of living, let me just say this, and I'm not preaching to you, but just think right now. There's people 7,000 foot underground in coal seams that aren't, any, aren't, aren't as high as baby dog's head right now. They can't sit up all day long, and they've absolutely given us so much in this state. It's unbelievable, and the last thing they deserve is for us to forget them. Now... With all that being said, you have a diversified economy. We want to embrace the alternatives. We want more and more and more goodness. The last thing is just this. That's why I came to the legislature and said, now is the time to put real life money back into people's pockets, the hardworking people's pockets. And they'll spend those dollars here. We don't need to back up on services. We need to expand them. We need to continue to give pay raises. We don't need to tack on additional sales tax or anything. But today, today, if we could move forward with a meaningful tax break, a meaningful tax cut, and not just squander the money away in Charleston, we'll all be way off, better off for it. Now, the last thing I'd say to you is just this. You've trusted me. I don't think that I've ever in the world had to know. There's no way on God's earth that I would ever tell you something knowingly that's not the truth. There's no way. I've made a lot of really, really, really close friends. And many of you are sitting right here in all different places. You know, I see Kent back here, and like I said, Matthew and Jonathan, and on and on and on. There's so many friends. You've done great work. I see John over here, so many different ones of you. But absolutely, I promise you to God above, I'll run through the finish line. I will not get down in the weeds and be just nasty and terrible and just absolutely, and you know exactly who I'm talking about. You know, with all that being said, I congratulate you. Now, at the end of the day, we still got a lot of work to do. And let me end by just telling you this, and this will be that way for absolute certainty. I don't know if you had parsley around the edges of your plate today, you know, for a luncheon, that may have been a little bit much. But literally, tourism is on the move so much in this state, it's off the chart. And you may think, well, gosh, if we could just maintain this, 
And you don't need to do that. You don't need to think that way. Literally, we have not gotten to the meat and potatoes on the plates yet. There is so much more in front of us. This state is really just beginning to blossom and show the world just how great you really are. But all in us, if we don't blow our own legs off with absolute bias or stupidity, we're absolutely going to go like you can't imagine. So I congratulate you because the only way we go is you. And I mean it. Keep doing the great work. Keep absolutely stay focused. Try to be above the silly pettiness. There's going to be so, so many more good days if we do that. So for Baby Dog and I, can you see what she's talking to? Yeah, there you go. There you go. All we had to do was crank out a little food, didn't we, Baby Dog? Come on, now sit down. I, I'll promise you nuggets in just a little while. Isn't it amazing? Who in the world would have ever thunk it? I mean, really and truly, when they handed me this little teeny Okay. Well, she's going to come and see you. Because she's thinking you got food. I'll leave with that. But listen. Get back up here, you rascal. <laughs> I'll leave you with that. You know, at the end of the day, there was a fellow, his name was J.W. Davis. And I'll tell you this story real quick. The Mr. Davis grew up in Texas. He was basically one of the wildcatters in little shallow wells in Texas 10 million years ago. I'm sure Mr. Davis is not living today. When I met him, he was 84 years old. He, he was the, the president of the, uh, at one time I think he was chairman of the board of Dr. Pepper. You know, I know that he was really instrumental in bringing Frito-Lay to the United States and Moore's Lumber and all kinds of different things. You know what he said? He said, let me tell you something, Sonny. And now, because I was just a kid. I was probably 30 years old at the time. Yeah, well, he said, son, if you, he said, every single morning, I would have sales meetings. And all the salesmen would come in and they'd be, and I would have that meeting at 545. And he said, and I had one thing that I wanted to accomplish. And that was never let someone leave there that I couldn't make smile in life. Now just think about it. He said, because I knew if they went out in the world trying to sell and they were grumbling around about something, they wouldn't get the first place. He said, after the meeting, I went home and went to bed. But literally, you by smiling and laughing and having enthusiasm and strength and all the things you will do so much goodness, it's unbelievable. Thank you so much for having me. Now, uh, you've been a great coach for us. Your team here are county officials for the last six years, and we'd like to present you with something. Thank you so much.
we all remember, um, we can't forget the whole team. And we can't forget your assistant coach. She says, it's not even too tight. <laughs> and she says, if you don't watch out in life, as you go forward, you'll smooth on an extra X. <laughs> oh, that's really great. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.